Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can withdraw and deposit money from the cryptocurrency exchange Max. If you don't have an account yet with Max, I put a link down in the description. If you can you if you open up an account with that link and you will actually participate in several bonus activities. So, let's have a look at the exchange once you have an account and you want to start trading, the first thing you need to do is actually you need to deposit some money. And you can either deposit um, cryptocurrencies, which is fairly straightforward. I will show you that. Or you can try to buy some cryptocurrencies with um, regular currencies. Like, for example, I'm in Germany. For me, it would be euros. So I can also use euros to buy cryptocurrencies here. I will show you that as well in a bit. So let's start with cryptocurrencies. So in order to deposit something, you just click on wallets here and then deposit. And it's fairly straightforward. And you just select the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit. So for example, USDT. And then you select the network. So for example, most of the time it's Ethereum. And then they basically show you an address where you can send the money to. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to deposit something here. So if you are not sure how everything works, you can just try it out with like a couple of euros or a couple of USDT. So um, not a big problem here. And you can also withdraw your cryptocurrencies. It's also fairly straightforward. You just select the cryptocurrency that you want to withdraw. Um, once you have that, for example, USDT, you um, copy the address here where you want to send it to and then you select a network and that's basically it and the fee is usually um, as high as a normal transaction or regular transaction in the network so for example if you want to send USDT on the Ethereum network it costs you three dollars eighty cents if you want to do it via the Tron network it's eighty cents and that's basically it in terms of sending cryptocurrencies to and from the exchange. Um, if you have regular currencies like euros, um, one way to do it would be to buy cryptocurrencies with either your credit or debit card or with a bank transfer. And let's have a look at that. As I said earlier, I'm in Germany. So I would buy USDT here with euros. I can also select a different cryptocurrency like USDC, for example. And then I can say, okay, I want to invest 100 euros. And they would probably give me around 107.63 USDT here. And they also give you a reference price here. And if you compare that, you can say usually um, you would get um, 110 USD for 100 euros. So they basically take a 3% margin on that one. Um, because it's by a credit card or debit card, it doesn't matter. If you want to do that, you just add your credit card details here and click continue. And then you can basically click here for buy now and then you can do the purchase but you have to keep in mind and they will charge you around three percent even if they are not transparent about that uh, exchange rate is just um, three percent worse than it would regularly be it gets a bit cheaper if you do it via a bank transfer there you can say again okay i want to buy 100 euros worth of USDT and there you can see it's 108 now and um, so it's a bit more than 1% and um, it's actually closer to 2% here and then you can basically see how much you would get and then you can just click buy now and um, you have to confirm these confirm and then they basically give you a bank account number where you can send it to and you have to put type in the reference as well and um, the bank account is usually somewhere in Europe so here it's Estonia and that's basically it 
in terms of depositing something or you can see if you invest if you buy a bit more um, it actually gets a bit better in terms of exchange rate here it's down to one percent if you invest 1000 euros instead of 100 and if you want to sell your cryptocurrencies you can also do that you can exchange it to usdt and then you can say okay you want um, 1000 usdt you want to sell it and then they basically give you a code for euros and then um, you can add a receiver account so you need to add your bank account number here and then um, you can basically get the euros to your account but here you have to keep in mind it's again um, around one percent on fees what you are paying even if they say there are no fees um, that's technically correct. However, the fee comes in terms of exchange rate, which is not the best exchange rate you can get. Another way to do it um, that is a bit cheaper than with um, buying and selling crypto here is if you open up an account on a different exchange. So for example, Binance or Coinbase, for example, and you deposit some euros there and then you exchange it to USDT and then you can basically send it to Max. And if you want to withdraw your money to your bank account, um, you again send the cryptocurrency back to Coinbase or Binance and then you can exchange it to Euros and then you can withdraw it on to your bank account. And with Binance and Coinbase, they only charge you, I think it's less than one Euro for, an, for a withdrawal to your bank account. Um, so that's actually way cheaper than paying like one or two percent or actually three percent if you do it via credit or debit card here so that's a different way to do it that's basically it in terms of depositing and withdrawing money from max if you have any questions about it please feel free to use the comments down below if you find that video helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching